The conditions here across the Pacific Northwest continue to be pretty mild for us, especially in the coming days. Uh, it'll continue to improve even further. Now, this weekend it was warm. If you're out and about, you may have noticed uh, you didn't need that extra layer. The gloves, the hats could come off. 56 was the high temperature in Eugene, and we weren't the only ones. I also saw those mid 50s over into the central part of the state. Head south, Roseburg, you made it up to 60 yesterday. Not bad. Also seen those mid 50s along much of the Oregon coast. 67 was the high temperature in Brookings yesterday, and that was the warmest spot in the state. Is it really December, almost Christmas? Uh, you wouldn't know it by these temperatures. That high of 56 degrees is 11 above average for this time of year, and it's actually closer to the record than it is to the average temperature, just 6 degrees shy of that record of 62 set back in 1964. Overnight, we've also been above average, about 5 degrees above what is normal in the low 30s, and we did pick up a one one hundredth of an inch rainfall here over the weekend uh, doesn't affect our deficit though which does continue to climb nearly 23 inches below average for this point in about 2013 which is pretty much half of what we would normally see in a calendar year again 2013 still the driest year ever recorded in Eugene now we are seeing some rainfall today though a few showers already started down south near Eugene across Lane County and Benton County much more as you head up north toward Portland and especially across West Western Washington. This cold front is going to continue to drop down to the south and east today, and as it does, uh, those showers will continue to increase. It's not really that cold though, and the temperatures behind won't be cold either. It's still 46 degrees in Eugene, which is actually warmer than what we would expect this time of year for a high temperature uh, rather than a current temperature. 48 in Salem, just 40 in Roseburg. Head out to the coast, mid 40s for you, and even uh, east of the Cascades in Central Oregon, 37 at the start of this Monday morning. It's also above freezing across the Cascade Passes. So not bad if you're doing some traveling today. You will have to put up with the rain showers, though. Across Cascade Passes, that'll be a snow-rain mix. Snow above uh, 5,000 feet by late tonight. Otherwise, that storm will be uh, well to the south and east of us by tonight. High pressure moves in behind it, and then we are in the clear in terms of rainfall for a good week. Storm cast showing again a few showers early this morning. The brunt of this storm will hit late this afternoon, early evening, so that's when we'll see the heaviest rainfall. If you are traveling across Cascades today, again, uh, snow up near the ski resort and then a snow rain mix down uh, on the passes. Now, by this uh, late evening, we'll see those showers wrapping up. Clear skies over our head will allow that fog to form in the Southern Valley tonight. Uh, so we'll see that from Corvallis through Eugene into Roseburg, even the coast seeing some fog tomorrow morning. And then that'll be the pattern that we're stuck in for about a week. Uh, and I always say it, but it's true. If you want to get out of the fog in the valley, just travel west, east, uh, north, south, or do a little bit of hiking. So for the coast highs, we'll be back to the low to mid 50s, dropping to the low 40s tonight. Cloudy with those showers again picking up. Winds will hold from the southwest. The Umqua Basin still looking those mid 50s. Again, low 40s for your lows tonight. You'll see those showers uh, later on this afternoon. We're talking a few hundredths of an inch. Across Cascade Passes, low 40s. It's going to be upper 20s overnight. Again, that snow level does drop down to 5,000 feet, but that snow rain mix staying for the passes. Central Oregon, low 50s, just a few isolated showers, otherwise mostly cloudy. And for the valley highs in the mid 50s today. Again, dry for the coast. It's going to be sunny, beautiful, perfect weather for whale watching week, which does kick off on Thursday. As we head into the Umqua Basin, you'll deal with the fog, uh, but otherwise dry and pretty quiet. The Cascades will be dry, sunny, and warmer with highs in the mid 40s and for the Willamette Valley. Low 40s during the day, upper 20s overnight. We'll deal with the fog, but otherwise dry Tuesday all the way through Sunday.